Number eight, solutions of hydrogen in palladium may be formed by exposing PD metal to H2 gas. The concentration of hydrogen in the palladium depends on the pressure of H2 gas applied, but in a more complex fashion than can be described by Henry's law. Under certain conditions, 0.94 grams of hydrogen gas is dissolved in 215 grams of palladium metal. And then they give the solution density of 10.8 grams, I'm assuming this is per centimeters cubed. And then we have letter A. We have to determine the molarity of, of this solution. So I'm just gonna put like a little slash here because for certain density is always mass divided by volume. And now we can answer the question. Now in this case, we need to find the molarity. Now, molarity formula is this one right here. The molarity, which is capital M, is always equal to the moles of a solute divided by the liters of a solution. Now, they didn't specifically say what the solute was or the solution, but they gave us little context clues. Now, they did say on the top here that solutions of hydrogen in palladium. So our solution has to deal with the hydrogen plus the palladium, right? The PD. P palladium? PD? No. PL? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's PD. Yeah, right? PT? Yeah, PT is platinum, PD is palladium. Okay. But now... The question is, well, who is the solute? Now, this comes from the wording of what they said in, the, in this piece of the information. They said 0.94 grams of hydrogen gas is dissolved in 215 grams of that metal. Now, keep in mind that if you have a solute plus a solvent, the combination of that is always the resulting solution. And that's why H2 plus PD equals the total solution because one has to be the solute and one has to be the solvent. Now the easiest way to know which one is which is just count the letters in the three S words. Solute has six letters, solvent has seven letters, and the resulting solution has eight. So we always go from the lowest to the highest number. The smallest amount will be dunked into the second biggest, which is the solvent, and the combination of these two will make the biggest, which is the solution. So in this case, I'm taking my hydrogen gas and I'm dissolving it in that palladium metal. So by that wording, the hydrogen gas has to be the solute and the palladium metal, the PD, has to be the solvent. Okay, so now we know that we need to find the moles of the solute, which is the hydrogen gas. And I'm putting it as H2 because hydrogen is a diatomic, right? And they did kind of get, you know, tell us that the hydrogen was a diatomic here. But they gave us grams. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert the 0.94 grams of H2 um, into moles. Now we could do it, um, you know, the, the dimensional analysis way. I guess I'll do that, right? We don't want grams of H2 anymore. That goes on the bottom. And we want moles. Moles of H2 goes on the top. Grams to moles is always on the periodic table, right? We always have one mole of whatever we're talking about, and the grams are going to be the atomic mass on the periodic table. Now, H2, um, there's uh, roughly one gram is equal to one hydrogen. 1.008 is the one that's on my specific periodic table. So if I times that by two, I get 2.016, and that will be the number that goes here. Grams cancel out with grams, and 0.94 divided by 2.016. And I'm just making sure that these numbers look good. That looks good to me. So I have 0 0.466 moles of H2. So we have this number on the top, 
four, six, six. But now we just have to find out the leaders of the solution. Well, they told us that our solution density was 10.8 grams per centimeters cubed. And keep in mind that one milliliter equals one centimeter cubed. So I could just say that instead of saying centimeters cubed, I have 10.8 grams per milliliter. And that's the way to get from a gram value to a unit of volume, the milliliters, by using the density. But the first thing that I need is, well, I need to know how many total grams I have of my solution. Well, the total solution would be the solute plus the solvent, the addition of H2 plus PD. And we just said that the 0 0.94 grams of the H2 was the solute, and it's added into the 215 grams of the PD. So 215 plus 0.94, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be doing this on the calculator, but I guess I'll just hold that, that there. So the total solution grams is 215.94 grams. Now we can incorporate that density, right? Because density equals mass divided by volume. And they gave us a density, 10.8. We just found out the mass, 215.94. So we can solve for that volume. So let's see, 10.8 equals 215.94 divided by x. We could get x up in the numerator by just cross multiplying. So we get 10.8x equals 215.94. We'll divide by 10.8 on both sides. So this number divided by 10.8 the density. And I get x equals, we'll say, I guess 19.99. But what unit is this? Well, it has to be the unit of the volume in the density. This is milliliters. But we need liters for the solution. So I can just quickly go from mils two liters, right? Milliliters to liters, all we have to do is just divide by 1,000 or move the decimal over three times to the left. So this would be 0 0.01999. One, two, three. Yep, that looks good to me. And now we know that this bottom number is the 0 0.01999 liters. So finally, and, and maybe if we can, Let's see, I'm gonna push this up a little bit. I think I could do maybe the math down here because it's just a simple now uh, formula. Molarity equals, we have the 0 0.466 moles that we found before, and then we have the liters, 0 0.01999. And now we can find out the molarity. So let's see, point, and maybe, maybe I won't uh, round here, because Kalki, Kalki can do it, right? There we go. And I get 0 0.023. Looks good to me. We got two sig figs in the question, so two sig figs out. And capital M for molarity. And that's your answer. So what's the molarity of the solution? 0 0.023 molarity, or 0 0.023 moles per liter. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna help us out. And I look forward to helping you in future questions. I will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.